okay back again this time we're going to look at a strategy i don't think you can do any good to the bim environment as a implementation into your workload unless you have a strategy you've got to look at the way that the business environment looks the building the facilities your office external interventions what the client wants your business partners everything needs to be looked at in terms of a strategy it looks at everything it outlines what you're trying to achieve and how you might achieve it both in the short term and in the long term don't forget our buildings are going to be around for a hundred and odd years and so we need to look at that sort of time scale when we're looking at a strategy take hs2 for instance hs2 is going to be on site for 10 15 years easy in that time scale how many times will they upgrade their bim sorry how many times will they upgrade their cad system you alone their bim strategy it may be four or five times in that sort of time scale where they're on site so you can't just upgrade from one cad system to another even if it's the next version or year on you've got to have a strategy that takes into account importing the files and upgrading them so that everybody is on the same hint sheet you've got to do it and broadcast the change almost over a weekend so everybody moves up from say 2018 to 2020. so the strategy is the start of everything if you don't get the right strategy the strategy itself becomes a barrier to integration so look at it carefully understand what the needs of the business are look at a way that you can implement change that allows everybody to pick up to use the bim the data in a way that everybody can use it and so we end up with a tightly integrated system that allows people to use the information in the way that they want that's it really get a strategy